General Kenobi. Hello everyone, welcome back to Be an Enigma. This month, we all have a lot of time to pass. So I thought, well, I may do more than one video. And as you guys probably know, my channel is relatively new. And because of that, I haven't had the chance to do things that everyone else has already done. So for this month's video, since I have a lot of time, I thought we could do all of the fun things that other channels have had the time to do. So one of the things that I always, always, always wanted to do if I had an art and creativity channel was the marker challenges. You've all seen them. One marker challenge, three marker challenge. Is there a five marker challenge? There probably is. So this is my marker challenge. So I have my sketchbook right here. Oh, here we have the whole gang together. I managed to get them almost upright. With the help of the Copic boxes, who are being the real MVP, not letting anyone sink to the bottom. I tried to mix everything. Obviously, I didn't succeed. But the more I mix, more markers go to the bottom and fall. So I'm just gonna try to do it this way. So I'm taking off my glasses, I'm closing my eyes. And um, I'm going this way. Fuck, they're together. Oh no. Okay, first one. And then this one. Okay, <laughs> so the first one is this Uhuhu bullet marker in the color WG5, which I think stands for gray. So let's swatch it. Oh, yikes, this is very dark. The swatch is very big, too. Um, so this, the next one is a Copic marker in the color R59 Cardinal. This also is so dark. Look, so dark. But dark is no problem because we have another Uhuhu marker in the color F01. And it is fluorescent as heck. Well, it's not as bad. Let's try and layer the both of you. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Cardinal is so dark, it just ate it. It just ate the fluorescence hole. And <laughs> I think, let's see. Pick it gray. Fluorescent doesn't stand a chance. And I'm pretty sure if I put these two together, it's gonna turn into like a dark, saturated black. Oh, it looks almost purple. That's kind of nice. And with we layer all of them. Yep, yeah, same thing. Kind of dark purple. Ooh, these are very dark colors. Except for this. Uh, so let's see with what I can come up with. Alright, so first thing I wanted to talk about was my sketches. At first, with the dark colors, I was thinking about some sort of sorceress, but then one of the sides of my headphones stopped working, so I started thinking of a guy who had no more headphones. Uh, the first one's really stupid because he's wearing headphones and then complaining about the broken ones. Then I thought he could be an older brother and the younger sibling broke his headphones. 
uh, the pose was too complicated, it was not turning out, so I thought, why does he like music so much? So I thought maybe he could use it for study. So I started thinking about lo-fi beats and those little animations, so I made a guy uh, sitting down studying and to try and incorporate the fluorescent a little bit, I had this idea of like making uh, an aura around him. There in the corner I was trying to make a swatch of all my colors and then I went to the final sketch. To line, I was using this cactus pen that I got for my birthday. I didn't even know if it was compatible with the marker, so I tried it there on the corner. Uh, it's very thin, I don't know where it came from, but it's so nice. And I did the details with this one, and then I got the um, chameleon detail pen, which is actually very big, and did the stronger, darker details. Luckily, on the paper, the colors weren't as dark in bigger areas, they were still very dark and I was struggling with a little bit of contrast. Um, it didn't succeed, but I tried. And there I'm using the cardinal for the jacket and the dark grey for the sides of the jacket and then I mixed the both of them into a purple. You can't really see it well, but on paper it's really purple. Um, and then I did the socks, which were my favorite part. And I was thinking, how can I do the hair? I, I used all the colors. There's going to be no contrast. So I got a little bit of rubbing alcohol that we all have now to keep clean. And I started doing some blushies. Um, and then I decided to mix the fluorescent with the cardinal to try and get this brownish, reddish color which I thought was kind of cute, so I use it on his hair. I could have stopped there, but I went further, I regretted it, I started picking up directly from the pen and then made the whole thing a red mess, but I think it was good. I think it was... this is a nice way to u utilize all of the possibilities you can with only three markers. And then I did that aura that I was thinking about. I made it so it looks more like a wave and there's me signing my artwork and that's my Instagram handle if you guys want to follow me. So this is all I have for you today. I hope you had fun. I hope that your quarantine is as good as it can go. I hope we all stay safe and who knows, maybe I'll show up again before the end of the month. Bye!